All right, Wolfie boy, the princess and bitch tits have decided that I'll be in charge of introducing you to the next sad, pathetic bastard in this rundown joint. <laughs> oh, am I kidding? It was just Charlie. Miss Hot and Spicy only agreed if I promised not to put my hands on you for today. But don't worry, you blue fuzzy head. Daddy Angel's got you covered. Okay. So, who am I meeting today? My personal favorite sexy kitty and rival to your cuteness, Wolfie boy. What? You see, he's a cat, so... I don't, I don't know how this will affect you. I mean, I don't know if you like cats or not. Oh, I love cats and pigs too. Really? Huh. Just went from a 9 to a perfect 10. Ooh. Huh? N nothing. Anyway, he's the bartender of this hotel. He can be a bit of a sourpuss, but trust me when I say the guy's a big softy. If anything, he's a bit insecure. Insecure? Insecure about what? Fuck if I know. The guy won't tell anyone anything about his past. Which is fine with me, so long as I get to rub against that soft fur of his. Ooh. Sounds like you got a thing for this Husker guy, Angel. Gee, do I make it that obvious, Captain? I'll be sure to make it less conspicuous in the future. And there he is. Watch me uh, turn on the charm, Wolfie boy. Hey there, kitty. How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me that? I ain't your fucking kitty or your fucking babysitter either. Speaking of which, how's my sweet fat nuggets been? Oh, come to daddy. Better company than most of the shit stragglers here in this hellhole. What the fuck is that thing? Glad you asked, Kitty. This here is Wolfie Boy, Charlie and Toots' new company mascot. And personal sex toy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, pet. <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, my name's Wolfku, thank you very much. Wolfku? What kind of fucking name is that for a tiny blue-ass wolf? I don't know what fucking kind of name is Husker for a cat. Was that supposed to be some sort of innuendo for an empty shell? What did you say, you little shit? Oh, I think you heard me, pussycat. You're the only other goddamn person in this hotel that has ears to hear it! Why don't you come up here and say that to my face, thigh-high? That is if you could actually reach me. Oh, short jokes, clever. Or do you think just because you're small you need special treatment? Special treatment? I'm three foot fucking tall, you asshole! Matter of goddamn physics. Draw me a diagram of how I can reach you, dumbass. Whatever, jackass. Look, don't get mad at me because your mother had seven litters from six other different men. I could shove you up Angel's ass, small fry. Nice. Really? You sure it ain't too sore from you and Angel Dust's butt session last night? Ooh, also nice. You wanna go, you little shit? Cause I could throw down right here. Bring it on, cat, and your mother had puppies. Oh boy. Guys, hold on. Normally I level a good cat fight, but this is not the time for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're alright, kid. You're not too shabby yourself, Pops. Huh? What, what just happened? We'll tell you when you're older, Angel. Oh, don't you fucking patronize me. So what the fuck do you guys want? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to play a game called Would You Rather? Would You Rather? The fuck is that, some sort of gambling game? Not exactly, but I'm sure you'll like it. Yeah, well, while you two are doing that, I'm gonna take Fat Nuggets here out for a walk. Try not to have too much fun without me, boys. Whatever. So how do we do this? And this Husker, my good fellow kitty cat friend, well, you're, I'm not a cat, I'm a wolf, but this is the game Would You Rather. Um, this is basically a game where we're asked a bunch of questions and we have to decide what we'd rather do. So, you know, should be fun. Uh-huh. All right. What do you think? Uh, wasn't expecting this. It's been, uh, yeah, go ahead. Y you sure? You, you got no questions or anything you want to do or, uh... No, no, I, I think I'm... I think I've got no questions. Uh, all right, there's none wrong with that. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll start with the uh, first question then. Um, all right. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay then. Um, first question: Would you rather live forever 
or until the end of the universe, or die right now with no afterlife. Just kill me now. I'll, th I'll, I'll take the second option. Well, wow. This whole living forever, this whole afterlife thing is already getting on my nerves. I, well, I, I, I feel kind of bad, but uh, I'm actually going to take the live forever, or at least to the end of the universe, because I feel like there's just so much more that I can experience. I mean, I'm kind of with you, the whole afterlife hell thing is not quite, actually, don't you think, Huss, that would be more of a reason to live, so you don't have to deal with this crap, or? No. No, I don't think so. Oh, well, all right. Well, we won't argue with you. So let's see who wins. Give it a couple years. <laughs> oh, of course. Naturally, the wolf is winning this one with a percentage of eighty-six percent. Wait, this is a winning thing? Yep. Uh, most people agree with my side. About uh, fourteen percent agrees with your side. Well, I guess uh, you know the smart are a minority. Well, you never know. I don't know. I think people would prefer to live forever than <laughs> die with no afterlife. I mean, it's kind of just, just kind of sad, don't you think? It's just sad. Give it a couple of years. You'll, you'll get it. Trust me. We'll see. What's the next question? Uh, I'll let you read this one. Would you rather be on the front page of, of, wait, hold on. Do I need glasses? Well, what? The front page of. The front page of what? Uh, that would be Reddit. That would be called Reddit. Reddit? What's Reddit? It's a social media site where people, like, share their ideas and vlog and, like, talk, tell stories. Mainly a storytelling place, but, you know, it's really nice. Uh -huh. Smart people live there, I'll tell you that much. Alright. Would you rather be on the front page of Reddit whenever you want, or be on the front page of the New York Times once? I will take Reddit. Reddit seems more fun. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll agree with that one this time. Fun fact, you are on Reddit, and people really like you, Husk. Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, they gotta cheer you up somewhat. Interesting. What, really? The New York Times? <laughs> what? Oh, I am disappointed. The New York Times, I, I get it, the New York Times, yeah, Big Mag is, ah, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I do not agree with that at all. Alright, if you were one of the Winchester brothers, would you be Sam or Dean? I'd be Dean. I don't know what that is. Oh. Uh, I'll just flip a coin on this one. Well, it, it's, uh, it's, it's about Supernatural, but, yeah, well, okay. But I'll be Dean. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I, all right, that's fair. I, I'll always be Sam. I I like Sam, too. I'd, I'd be Sam, but I feel like Dean is just, uh, I don't know. I always like Dean a lot, so I picked Dean. Even though I, I probably knew Sam was going to win. Well, there you go. I apparently would have picked Sa uh, Sam. <laughs> all right, then. Would you rather always be hot or cold? Hmm. That's, uh, you know, I, I'd rather always be cold. Hell is kind of hot. It's always hot down here. It's Lucifer does not give us a break. Yeah, it's it's not very pleasant. I'll I'll take the cold, thanks. Well, I'll take the cold too. It's actually a lot easier to warm up than the cool down, yeah. And we win! With uh 57%! Nice! See there we go. That that's better. I like that. That's a lot better. A lot of people are really sensible this time. I would think so. Uh would you rather go give up your birthday or give up Christmas? I can't give up Christmas, but I can't give up my birthday neither. Oh no, this is a tough one. Yeah, this ain't hard. I give up my birthday. Ain't got many happy memories about that. Oh, come on, Huff. I'm sure it can't be that bad. I mean, I'm sure you had some good moments. All right, comparatively, I don't have very many good memories about Christmas either. But it's Christmas, and Santa Claus likes to give you presents unless you were bad. Were you bad, Husk? Were you on the naughty list? <laughs> Alright, let's just, um, let's just put it this way, right? Your birthday stops being special once you hit adulthood. People stop giving a shit. Christmas always comes around. I don't know, my, my presents have been fairly nice. And Santa really likes me. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll give up my birthday as long as I get a Christmas. Okay. Wow, we won with 60%. Would you look at that? It hurts, though. 
guess a lot of other people don't have very great birthdays either. <laughs> I, had, I had amazing birthdays, okay? I had an amazing birthday, and, and I, I'm sorry to let it go, but I can't give up Christmas. I just can't. I can't do it. Amen. Oh, Would you rather have an iPhone or have an Android device? I already have an Android device, so I'm gonna go with the Android. Sorry. Uh, and plus my friend Krillin, he's kind of dating one, so I gotta, I'm kind of biased. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Android too. Uh, I've seen the prices on those iPhones. They are so expensive. No. Yeah, just no. No. Agreed. Oh, real? Oh, come on. Who has the money for an iPhone? I guess if it's just have it. And it doesn't... No, you know, I'd still rather have an, I, an Android. I Even if it were, like, a free iPhone, nah. Agreed. I agree. Just, no, who has time? I don't have the time, and nor do I have the money. By the way, guys, subscribe, and if you haven't, donate to your boy. So we can, like, uh, get an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, donate to me and her so we can get iPhones. Oh, God. Oh, I'll let you read this one, Husk. Would you rather... Marry a hardened criminal, or marry someone with five kids from three previous marriages. No, I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna take the criminal. <laughs> I'm, I'm just hands down. I I'm not dealing with five kids. Nope. As someone who had kids too, like I can't deal. I mean, kids aren't too bad, but yeah, I I'd go with the hardened criminal. I have a hard enough time dealing with angels, little pig. What was it, Fat Nuggets? Yep, yeah, old Fat. <laughs> he's not too bad though. I mean, yeah, I think he's one of the. Honestly, he's the most least he's annoying character in this whole freaking hotel, wouldn't you say? Worst thing he does is snort, and it's kind of cute. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Come on, Fat Nuggets is cool. We like Fat Nuggets. And really? Wow, this was close! But most people would rather marry someone with five kids <laughs> from a previous three marriages than marry a hardened criminal. Wow. Damn. That was close. That was a close one. Wow. Okay. I mean, statistically, a hardened criminal knows how to defend you better. Yeah, statistically, I, I think so. To let out your anger, would you rather smash a computer with a baseball bat or smash a guitar on the floor? Uh, my rather oh, smash a guitar on the floor. Yeah, smash a guitar on the floor it makes a makes a better sound. Yeah, that's what band members did back in the day. Yeah, what? What? Kurt Patrick. Yeah, let's do that. And we won. Hey, would you look at that? Sound of a guitar getting smashed is a piece into a lot of people, it seems. Nice. Let's do one more. Um, would you rather be a gangster or a Freemason? What's a Freemason? I don't, I don't know what that is. I ain't touching that. I'm gonna be a gangster. Nope, going straight with a oh, gangster. Oh yeah, I'd be the nope. blue gangster. I'm a blue gangster. Yeah, I look cool, like a fedora hat. Looking real nice and sharp. I think you, you, oh, Husk, you would look good too. I can see you being like the Tommy Gun kind of guy. Like I can see you like wearing uh, that, that like that nice like outfit without without the fedora, and then you'd have the Tommy Gun. Keep the change, you filthy animal. No pun intended. God. Yeah, it, it would sue you. I, I I could totally see it, guys. Guys, do you not see that? I could see. Yeah, you yeah. Wearing... All right, all right. I get it. Wait, yeah, wait, wait. You're right. Just let me put the scenario. You and me. We're staking out a case, right? They didn't give up the money, so I show up in my blue fedora hat looking all nice and gangster-like. Oh, you're at my side hell. with your Tommy gun. If you don't give us the money, you're gonna suffer the consequences. Yeah. And then we let loose! I, I like that. What, what do you think? Well, it'd be better than being a Freemason, that's for sure. I, I agree. I, I don't even know what that is, so let's just go with gangster. Really? <laughs> We, we lost! Barely, it was close, but we... What is a Freemason? I don't know! Uh, it's not that important. Don't worry about it. I'm curious, guys. Tell, if you don't know... Tell me in the chat what's a Freemason. He's not telling me. <laughs> Alright. Well, that is that. Alrighty, Lou. That is that. So, what did you think of Would You Rather? You know, that wasn't too bad. But we gotta bet some cash next time. Deal. So, how the fuck did you get down here anyways? Uh, it's a long story. But let's just say I was dragged here by a certain demon princess. And, well, the rest is history. You got dragged here, huh? <laughs> I can relate. 
That son of a bitch radio demon dragged me here while I was in the middle of winning a damn poker game! Wow, you too, huh? We've got a lot more in common than I thought. Or I guess. I normally drown my issues in cheap booze. What about you? Muffins. All my pains are drowned in muffins. Muffins, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess it's no worse than any other crap people use to comfort themselves. At the end of the day, we're all eating a giant shit sandwich. <sighs> Ain't that the truth. <laughs> well, looks like you two are getting along pretty well. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, I guess this was okay. <laughs> what are you, both some fucking cinderace? Fuck you! Woohoo! That actually brings me to my next question. You two up for a little menage a trois? The double angel special. Go, Go fuck, fuck yourself! yourself! Oh, only if you two watch me. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Alan SK, I'm, uh, I'm this dude who's doing, who's doing Valentino and Husk for the Slice of Life, or the Slice of Hell, sorry, the Slice of Hell group, and, um, yeah, this is my plug, Th that's it, uh, <laughs> bye. Alright, Husk, we're going out! Let's go and get the drinks ready! We're going on a night of the town! I got the gin. I'm addicted to the feeling Getting higher than the ceiling And we're never gonna want this fucking feeling Just kissing and giving to you and the demons again